now this man little can this a lot of people been hitting me up i'm gonna say all these things are alleged stories you feel me because 12 do be watching and all that i'm gonna tell you what the internet is saying about little cam not me because it's already out there even the news already talked about little cam they didn't say his name but they're like alleged hitmans and all that all this extra but now this is being tied into duke the jeweler case too which i don't believe little cam got anything to do with duke the jewelers i ain't one of these folks doing conspiracies none of that but we got to talk about what the internet is talking about they're saying this guy you're watching here little cam there's a reason he's around jay prince like that there's a reason why you've seen in different information little cam is being seen everywhere well he got a name in fifth ward and he got a name for a reason he's big cam he's not really little cam he's really big cam and we're gonna break that down we're gonna go into that and talk about it all i need y'all to do is one favor for the smoke gang man is to hit that like button hit that notification bell, and come rock out with the realest team out here man the i smoke hip-hop live movement meets i smoke hip-hop nation you feel me make sure you hit that like button and share this video comment and subscribe hit the notification bell so you don't miss no breaking news and what we got going on here now it's a lot of apologetic people in the room right now a lot of people is like eff it we're gonna screw it people had sent me things on little cam i choose not to talk about certain things unless it hits the fan and the media talk about it some of the things they telling us is that little cam is more than what meets the eye little cam is a well-known alleged hitman out here remember it's not what i'm saying it's what social media is saying even folks from houston was like he is not somebody to be messed with he got a lot of backing and supports from alleged individuals he's been in so many stripe situations that that's why he got the name of aka hitman through what these social media folks is saying now when you look at duke the jeweler situation i don't know much about it i choose not to cover it based on the situation of the people who was allegedly involved y'all know what i'm trying to say and i'm not gonna say it so everybody and their mama want that to be called out asap they don't like what's going on they don't feel comfortable with it because it's showing you to the level of degrees that folks don't really give a damn about each other and they're doing what they got to do to eliminate each other and it doesn't sit comfort with um comfortability with me as well too so we do got to go into this and look at it more because it is something that speaks volume it speaks volume to the credence of that we don't give a damn for each other and you'll get a name for killing us and that's kind of spooky but we keep looking at it now they show you cam with the alleged weapon right here i'll be the first to be honest and said i didn't see him kill anybody so i can't cap like other bloggers are saying but it does show little cam right here in the yellow sweater it does show him with the weapon right here and you see take off over there near them and then it's gonna get picked up and pointed out that's all i'm gonna say to that but what we can look at is that footage let's let's break it down together again because there's too much cap going on in these situations it's making people feel a little bit uncomfortable because you don't know what story is real fake or anything am i am i'm capping you don't know what's going on with it but you care so much that it doesn't matter who's doing the story it doesn't matter who's doing what you're literally gonna speak volumes to it so you can identify with whoever is doing the story and their narrative i understand it and little cam gotta understand that too when people allegedly like take off gets killed in a way where they look at guys like you bro dudes don't care bro they want to see people like you fall down and be guilty of everything let's look at it we're gonna watch Lil Cam here right now, Pay attention. There go Quavo. Man, we gotta watch that again, man. We gotta watch it again. I'm in. 
Okay, Aaron Carter, they talking about rest in peace to him, but that ain't what we on right now. Rest in peace to Aaron Carter, though, but you can pretty much see the situation, bro, that led up to it. Folks is still going to keep trying to blame him. We had a slow down video to try to even help out as ed educational purpose cam, bro. But we got to look at it, cam. We, we don't cap over here, bro. The video, this is the video everybody was sending us saying cam was guilty. And I still said, I don't know, but it does show he was there. Let's look at it in slow motion. You feel me? Let me rewind it now. Pay attention in details. Okay, I'm watching it. I, I see him on the side. You can see, we even seen when he ran too, but we're looking at it in slow motion right now. And they said your boy Takeoff got hit from the back of the head, you dig? We paying attention to him right by Takeoff. I see they, um, I see one of their friends, one of the Migos homies. We watching it. That's the one they try to falsely blame. Let me pause it. The one that they falsely blame is no other than they folks. Um, I think Migo Bans his name is. I ain't going to cap and act like I know how to say his name the right way. But they try to say him clutching on his weapon automatically made him guilty. Everybody failed to realize the cops never said they were going to arrest him. Nothing like that. The cops only said he was a person of interest. It's him right here. Here's a picture of him with Quavo. Uh, I don't know if I could show it here, but hold on. Let me sc scoot this all the way up right quick. Here we go. They're saying he was a person of, uh, of interest only. And a lot of bloggers and folks ran with that narrative like he was guilty. So this picture over here don't surprise you when they try to put two and two together. Now, let's go back to the actual slowdown video. Pay attention. Doesn't show you nothing in nature as far as Migos and them folks is at fault in this one here. But it does show who's close enough. And we found out the issues was happening with Cam and them folks. Whether you want to say mob ties, but we know now mob ties and Quavo had issues. Takeoff ain't had nothing to do with nothing. You feel me? In fact, they said Quavo was trying to make peace. And in the midst of Quavo trying to make peace, you seen a dumb ish happen. Y'all heard the video. Y'all heard all of it. So no more exaggerations to what's been going on, man. It's just too much cap in the media, man. Look, I'm going to play some of these rundown videos so you guys can remember who the hell Takeoff is. I was shining before, but I felt like you was dancing on this one. Yeah. I felt like you he was just like, yo, I felt like it was like, like it was always your time. It was your time to prove it. Is that something you had in your mind when you was going in recording? Oh, for sure. Okay. You know what I mean, uh, enough is enough. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm chill. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Laid back, but mm -hmm. it's time to pop it. You know what I mean? I mean, time to give me my flowers. You know what I mean? Right. I don't yes. want them later on when I ain't here. God damn it. You know what I mean? Right but take off be rapping, he even confused Nicki Minaj because Nicki said he she didn't realize uh, he was rapping about her on motorsport. Cap. <laughs> <laughs> now with the album out, are you paying attention to what people are saying about it? I love take off. You see the face he made. <laughs> You see the face rabbit, he made. Through the pandemic, running up chicken. Whipping okay. in the kitchen. You make a mention, a ticket to make it go missing. I'm doing sneak dissing. I'm still not thinking about paying as you get so some shit. Why you niggas out of money? My niggas gon' get it because every day government brings it. Yeah. Woo! Woo! She's in the back, don't say nothing. The f is a kill for me. Back as I count on my sleep, on flee. My neck is spitting on that paddy for leave. For the jump, my dog in my chest. I jump, I do whipping the I ain't no 20s or 50s, Benjamin Franklin Block on lock, I'll make her angle I keep the bag on my brother, my partner, dog No monkey in the jungle, fly hot like a song Bustin' up and I'ma tryna weave it and the car Jumpin' in the water, tryna slip across the water Got the sea guards out, got me beat by Ferrari Out, baby, bag of money, know I gotta have it 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 he said you about to crash out your lane. Hey, Lil' Cam, I think that was for you, G. You really are about to crash out your lane if you ain't crashed out already. The bros was culling and no it came with the brain. No letterman, I've been a veteran. No letterman, I've been a veteran. But this bro, this man got the best flow in hip hop. I don't care what y'all say, man. Look, I am DJ Bless One. Much love to the I Smoke Hip Hop Nation, man. I'm hurrying up with this video because we're doing the next one right now, bro. I don't sleep, bro, but I actually went to sleep yesterday. You go through so much pain, you let the pain go away, bro. Man, anyways, man, DJ Bless One in the flesh. Salute to all y'all real ones, man. Keep the family up, man. Keep it going. Hey, we booming over here as far as with the love, man. Love your family, love your kids, and stay 
bless forever, y'all.